Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today I wanted to go over with you uh, exactly what happened during the Direct uh, for Nintendo. Now first off, before you guys get really pissed off, obviously those of you that saw, uh, those of you that saw the Direct were, you know, really underwhelmed and I don't blame you, uh, but they did kind of give hints that they're going to have another Direct before the end of the year, so maybe more things are going to get announced. Granted, I was kind of pissed off with Nintendo. There's no doubt about that. I think many of us were. Um, but they did release some good stuff, and I want to talk about that, the big, the big highlights. The first thing, of course, we're going to talk about, if you guys are, uh, you know, Smash Brothers fans like I am, I mean, I have it on the 3DS, I had it on the Wii U, I had it on the Wii. I mean, I just love that game. Um... I kind of got pissed off also, I know a lot of people now are talking about it in forums, uh, that they made about 75% of the show exactly uh, just about that game. Uh, that being said, uh, in, the end of this, uh, in the end of this video, I'm going to be playing the character trailer uh, for the game, uh, and I want you guys to see it. It looks pretty cool. I'm a big you know, Smash Brothers fan, so I think it's really cool. I just don't think they should have dedicated... About 75% of the show just to that. I mean, there were so many other great games that they could have showed and, you know, uh, done. But it looks like that's their main focus right now. So let's just talk about that. So that was a big one. It has 64 characters in it. Um, it has, uh, pretty much it says everyone is here. So everybody is there, which was pretty freaking awesome. And it was like, you know, even they put Ridley there, which is <laughs> pretty cool. And uh, the thing I got to say that's really amazing is that Nintendo actually... Uh, brought all their uh, dev teams together to make this uh, to make this game. They basically pulled people out of certain things like Metroid Prime. Uh, well, that's Bandai, so I don't think that had anything to do with it. But uh, um, they started taking you know people and whatever, and it's, it just looked like they they got together and made this thing work. Uh, I think Nintendo was really flexing its muscle when it was showing that showing. They were focusing on basically telling the competition to buzz off. You know, a lot of uh, fanboys, I'm a PlayStation 4 owner, and I would never, ever compare the Nintendo to PlayStation 4 in terms of graphics ability. But in terms of enjoyability, I think both of them are great. But you have a bunch of fanboys that constantly say, oh, the Nintendo is weak. Oh, the Nintendo is that. Oh, the Nintendo is this. The Nintendo is not weak. The Nintendo is a strong system, and they could pull off amazing games like Doom to play on the go. When these fanboys can show me that they can take the PlayStation 4 and Xbox on the go, then I'll agree with them. But until then, I don't agree with anything they say. I really think that the Nintendo Switch is extremely enjoyable. I, I play it uh, sometimes the same and sometimes more than I play on my PC, which PC, ga let's face it, PC gaming is the best gaming ever, better than any system, uh, because you could really, you know, uh, push the limitations uh, of it. And I speak on this as a person who has done game design. Of course, I sucked at it, but the point is I understand it. I worked with the Unreal Engine. I know exactly how to work it. And the thing is, I just find PC games... Uh, better graphically than any system out there. So to all the fanboys that like to talk against Nintendo, they are extremely underpowered compared to a PC. So there you go. And I got to tell you, I play my Switch more than I play my PlayStation 4 and more than I play my PC. Again, it depends on what game comes, comes out <coughs> or whatnot. But um, I love the exclusive games on the Nintendo. I just really dig it. And I really think that this thing, uh, the Smash Brothers, they really have a lot of... A push for it because they put a lot of time and effort in it and basically said hey look out there counts uh, you know consoles all the competition we can be as powerful as you are we can make enjoyable games that look really cool and you know and and that's that you know and uh, you know 64 characters to put in a game like that is is insane and god knows if, uh, if there's any more as hidden characters or whatnot so that was really amazing to have like about <clears throat> you know uh, the trailer to it and everything. I just don't think it should have been 75%. I was really looking forward. Right now, I got to give the kudos to Microsoft because Microsoft had 50 game lineups uh, that they just went ahead and spoke about uh, in terms of like 18 uh, and also 18 exclusives or something like that. It was it was pretty cool. I got to give them a lot of kudos for that for telling us the game the games that are coming out in the future, not like the near future, but like the future, uh, showing us all 50 games like in. To late 2018, that's what I mean by future, to uh, 2019 games, where Nintendo basically spoke mostly about the games 
that were coming out in 2018 early and then started adding a little later and so but it doesn't equate anything near uh, what I thought and I'm gonna talk about that as well and I know a lot of you guys had concerns I want to talk about this the next one obviously is Pokemon a Pokemon's obviously coming out I can't wait the new Pokemon game it's gonna come out around November so you know they own November Pokemon's a big game is one of my favorites uh, I like playing all of the Pokemon games except uh, Pokemon Go. I really got pissed off with that game a lot <laughs> when it used to drop Connect Me and stuff like that. But uh, it, it, it is one of my favorites. Uh, another one is Damien X Machina, which is coming out in 2019. And I got to tell you, I, I never heard of this thing before. And then when I saw it on display, I was amazed how amazing and and awesome it looked it looked it looked just incredible I, I mean i can't personally wait to see this game uh, more development in it you know to see what's out there and what it uh entails another one is fire emblem three houses uh that's coming out in 2019 as well uh at first i gotta tell you i was kind of disappointed that it's not coming out in 2018 but i guess they they're kind of smart i mean all these games are coming out within the you know late um you know, uh, late 2018, like Pokemon owns that, Smash Brothers in December. So the smart thing to do if you want to start selling something good, you don't want it to get steamrolled by a bunch of other games. So what do you do? You push it a little bit. And I think that's the reason they actually went and uh, pushed this game. Another uh, great one that I can't wait to play is Dragon Ball Fighter Z in 2018. That's coming out. Uh, Captain Toad, which I got to tell you, I didn't think I was going to like. And after seeing, uh, you know, seeing it on display, I mean, I can't wait to play that game. It looks like something fun. It kind of looks like Rampage uh, a little bit. Like, um, yeah, it kind of feels like that. Like, I don't know, like some kind of, it, it's so cool. The graphics are nice. It looks really awesome. I really, I mean, I personally can't wait to play that game. I really dig it. And I like Toad. I mean, he's not the best character, obviously, but... I enjoy playing as it looks pretty enjoyable. It looks like a very nice puzzle game. I don't know how to describe it, but it, it's really, really nice. Uh, it kind of also reminds me of Croc for some reason, a long time ago for the Sega Saturn. I don't know why. I mean, it just it kind of reminds me on that. Uh, and of course, then they spoke about uh, uh, Dark Souls, which I mean, we we are already waiting for that game to come out. I can't wait for that thing to come out. I want to see how the heck that's uh, that's gonna look. Splatoon Two also is gonna have Octopath expansion, and that's coming out in uh, June 14. Uh, that's something that I'm actually looking forward to. I'm not a big Splatoon guy. I mean, I played it a little bit and I enjoyed it. I just don't see myself immersing in it too much that it's worth it to me. Unless I was playing online a lot and all of that and I would totally dig it. Again, portability is my thing. So I like carrying games with me on the go. So it's not exactly the game for me unless I'm sitting home and hooked up to some Wi-Fi or whatever network and I'll be cool with that. But otherwise, I mean... It, it, it's fun to play. I think I would do it if I was at home all the time or I had an opportunity to be at home and play games uh, on uh, my big screen and stuff. I think I would really dig that. Um, another one is Ark Survival Evolved. That's coming out in fall 2018. And I got to tell you, I didn't know what the hell that was. I looked at the trailer and I was just blown away. It looks so freaking cool. I am totally looking forward to that one. Um, and I know many, many of you guys in the forum said that you guys are going to buy it. You can't wait, blah, 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 you know, and all that. That was pretty freaking awesome. And then Wasteland 2, which kind of looks like a mobile game, to be honest with you. I'm not that pleased uh, with it, but that's coming out in 2018. I don't know. Don't kill me for or hate me for that. It just it looks to me like a mobile game that I could get for free. It doesn't look like it's so graphic intensive that I would want to go and shell out money for. Not my kind of thing. looks more like, uh, I don't know, just looks not entertaining to me then they got snk uh heroines um uh, tech team frenzy that's a cool game and here's the one i'm looking forward to i'm a big monster hunter guy and monster hunter generations ultimates coming out in august 28 i am so looking forward to that game it's not even funny i mean i love dragon hunter i think it's one of the best games nintendo has ever came out with i think uh that they you know they should have focused a lot on that game too i don't know if they did and did it i want to see how that game is i'm really curious to see how the heck that's going to turn out and of course uh, in june 29 wolfenstein the new colossus which after we saw what bethesda did with doom i mean let's face it guys the bethesda presentation Doom 2 is coming out, okay? Uh, uh, you know, the, the second part to Doom, a sequel. Another part to Wolfenstein is coming out. Bethesda, aside from Microsoft, I got to give Bethesda so much credit 
that they went out and and showed us their game. I mean, incredible presentation. I mean, just out of this world. Definitely check back on my other episode. I spoke about that in detail, all of Bethesda's games that's coming out. But it's just out of this world. And we saw how good they are, the way they actually did. Um, you know, the, uh, the way they actually made, like, Skyrim and um, uh, the way they made Doom run on a portable machine on the Nintendo Switch. Amazing. I mean, I can't even describe this, how how insanely awesome, what a great job these guys are doing in Bethesda. And I can't wait to see what Wolfenstein actually looks like and how it plays like. It looks awesome. I'm not going to personally buy it because I beat the hell out of it on my on my computer. And, uh, you know, I beat the living daylights out of it that I'm totally bored. Like Doom, I loved it too, but I didn't buy it due to that because of, uh, you know... It, it's a game I beat the crap out of, and now it's finally out. It is cool. I don't like playing first-person shooters, to be honest with you, on a controller. I'm used to playing with a mouse. You got better fine-tuning, and you aim at the, at the skulls of every Nazi, and you blast their heads off. It was so freaking cool. It's a, you know, But the thing is, I, I beat the hell out of it playing both story mo you know stories and also had the expan sort of expansions, whatever, and I beat the hell out of that. So uh, you know, I am looking forward to see how that thing runs. Uh, definitely, but, um, you know, I'm not going to be getting that game. Another one is Fortnite. Uh, Fortnite is coming out right now. It came out today, actually, so I urge everybody to go out and, uh, uh, download that game. I'm a big Fortnite guy, and I like playing it. I, you know, I can't wait for it to come on the, on the, my Samsung Note. Uh, again, I don't like playing touchscreen, but I just like to have that with me. I just think it's so cool. But now I'll be able to have it on a portable device that I can, you know, play with a joystick. That'll be pretty freaking cool. But again, first-person shooters, not a big fan in controllers. Like it better with my, with the mouse. Maybe with the motion controls, they'll do something. I don't know. Mario Tennis obviously is coming out later this month, and I that is a game that I was uh, that you guys requested, and I did pre-order that. Uh, the majority of you guys requested it. I did pre-order it after the demo that I gave you guys uh, episode I showed you and I am buying that game and I'm going to show you everything from the beginning to end what it offers how it plays every little thing and I'll tell you if there's bugs and so on and so forth another one that they're working on is Super Mario Party now if you guys remember I hated Mario Party 10 I think many of us uh, hated it uh, and really thought it, it was like one of their greatest shortcomings uh, but I think that's why they wanted to stay away from the number game and basically what they did is said screw the numbers and now we're just going to call it Super Mario Party and uh, that's it pretty much they stayed away from the numbers game like I can't wait to see what the hell that uh, looks like now a lot of things were missing and I think we could all agree on that uh, one of the major things that I was looking forward to more than anything was Metroid Prime what the hell Nintendo what are you thinking? Now, obviously, probably you guys are pushing it uh, due to such a great lineup that you guys have right now stored up. So you don't want it to be steamrolled or, you know, too many good games at once might not, you know, sell or give a good impression on one. I, I don't know. You guys probably know. I, we'll see what happens. Definitely comment below what you guys think. But I think that's the reason they have a lineup. They're going to wait for 2019. And like I said, they're going to have another Direct, even though this is like the weakest Direct. Uh, they're going to have another Direct that's going to come out late, later on this year before the year is up. So maybe they're going to make an announcement on that. But again, all hearsay, I mean, uh, rumors, all assumptions, uh, uh, assumptions make an ass out of you and me. I'm not going to be you know, preaching assumptions here. But let's wait to see what the hell they have to offer. I was just really pissed off. They didn't have Metroid, uh, Metroid Prime and on top of everything, Yoshi, what the hell? It's like a 2D freaking scroller. Why on earth would they push that? I thought it was going to be a 2018 release for sure. They had nothing about it. So, I mean, something's going on. Either they scratched it off or maybe they're just going to wait till 2019. I just think that's extremely stupid. Should have been part of the lineup. It's a Nintendo thing. I mean... I don't know. Maybe they had issues with it. And, and another great thing, and I'm talking this from business. I'm not an Animal Crossing kind of guy, but uh, obviously. But uh, Animal Crossing is a big seller, especially in the holidays. Uh, everybody knows that. It's a big seller. I don't know what Nintendo was thinking, that there's no new Animal Crossing game. I mean, I think that's very stupid in terms of marketing. Uh, they would have done great. It would have been epic to see that. Another big, big one that I was so, so pissed off with was the fact that they didn't have anything about Star Fox. 
no trailer, no nothing, and I was really looking forward to it. In fact, that was one of the major reasons that Smash Brothers and uh, Metroid Prime is what I wanted. And uh, the fact that it didn't even show up kind of pissed me off. But hey, guys, they, they need to talk about something in the next Direct, right? So maybe that's the issue. I'm not sure. But anyways, this was definitely the weakest uh, <laughs> Direct. Um, but again, they have a good amount of games coming out right now. And in the future, like, uh, you know, later on this year and a little bit in 2019. So let's give a big uh, round of applause to Nintendo. And right now I'm going to show you guys the trailer, the character trailer for Smash Brothers, okay? So I'm going to uh, play that for you right now. So, as you can see, here it is, starting up. So this is the trailer right here. It's the character trailer pretty freaking interesting I want you guys to see this I mean literally there's like everybody in this game about 64 characters it truly is an ultimate edition <laughs> just out of this world Donkey Kong I mean look at this crap man Firefox I can't really wait to see what the Amiibos are going to be like. Are there going to be new Amiibos coming out? Or also, what are the old Amiibos going to do in this game I want to see? Because that giant $30 Pikachu came out. That's got to be something. I know the Pokemon game's coming out, obviously, too. So, I mean, it's got to work for both of these. It's got to be something special. Huh? Ryu. I would have loved to see Ken in it. I don't know why they just have Ryu. That would have been so much cooler if they had Ken in this game. So you could at least have like Ryu versus Ken. <laughs> or Akuma even, you know? As like a hidden character. I love what it says here. What is this? Everyone is here. Oh, from Bayonetta. Bayonetta herself. <laughs> Corin. Toon Link. <laughs> I would have really loved to see another punch out game. That would have been so cool. Every time I see Little Mac, I get pissed that Nintendo's not releasing it. They would make a killing. Definitely stay tuned. I, I put a pre-order on the uh, Mega Man 11. You guys requested it, and I went ahead and uh, pre-ordered it. So, you know, definitely uh, check back when it comes out. I'm going to be reviewing it in day one. Look at that beauty. Wow, look at that. And what an ovation. Oof. Everyone is here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this show. Uh, as always, self-funded here. Everything I do, I buy for my own money. I'm self-funded. I'm no, not even Patreon. The only way I ask uh, you guys uh, to help me out with is by liking the video, sharing the video, commenting, subscribing, and hit that bell button. I know it's a tall list. Subscribe and hit the bell button. There's many more honest reviews and many more things uh, to come from unboxings to mini-series that I'm covering right now. Uh, be sure to check out the How to Build uh, a Game 
gaming computer on the cheap and also a series that's coming out every Sunday. You'll see episodes right now and then I'm going to be releasing for the 3D printer how to make a helmet from beginning to end. Uh, you know, all of that with the, using the 3D printer and all of that good stuff like basically making a product from beginning to end mini series there. And as always, <clears throat> if you have any mini series you want me to cover, I'm sorry I'm a little bit sick. Uh, if you have any mini, mini series you want me to, to make uh, based on whatever topic, let me know. I could see if I could work that in my budget and I'll make it for y'all uh, right away as I did already. A bunch of mini series coming out, so we'll see what we have and we'll make it based on that. And as always, if there's any type of game you want me to review, make some requests. The majority of the requests will go to the game I will get and I will review for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.